when we're talking about the life start effects or the long-term performance effects of early life nutrition, we're talking about measuring the effects of um, two to three years after we actually did something. This takes a lot of time and a lot of animals to get any type of um, detectable differences. So to better understand the effects, and not only better understand the effects, but understand the consistency of these effects across different uh, ways of production at different clim climates, different feeding managements, we did a meta-analysis that included studies done in three different continents um, that put enough number of animals that gives us a confidence to the answer. And what did you find? Well, what we found is that just by feeding more nutrients, we get more milk. But when we correlate the growth that those nutrients gave to the calf, it starts to say that for every additional kilo of average daily gain that a calf has pre-winning, they will be producing 1,500 kilos more milk during first lactation. And that was consistent throughout 12 studies with no limit to the growth. I cannot really explain the specific difference between studies. We know that some studies have resulted in gains of um, for every kilo you get 3,000 kilos of milk. Some studies, for every kilo you get 600 kilos of milk. There is differences in the total amount of production those cows have, difference in the amount of um, growth that they had pre-winning. Some people focus on one study. We like the approach of getting the meta-analysis because it gives a more consistent, more reliable response. Um, live studies not only uh, acknowledging the effect of that early life growth, but it's also acknowledging the effects that colostrum by itself has, where just by giving more colostrum, you can also get more milk. And these effects seem to be additive.